World War Three. It's a question that we have to uh, explore this morning. It's the title of our video. You can see that I uh, use a thumbnail, World War Three, and with NVIDIA. What's all that about? Well, let me explain. I just want to be absolutely clear. I, I always make this statement on my shows that I never use clickbait videos. I don't, it's, it's, I'm not a YouTuber. I'm the world piano man as voted by Sir Elton John. I'm an entertainer. I'm here simply to provide information, facts, uh, live debate, live discussion. We're not here just to get drama and sell sell news. That's not what this channel is about. And we demonstrate that every day by being live all day, every day. However, we have to ask the question right now. So I am not su suggesting World War Three is about to break out. The market's going to go zero. We should all buy everything. We're all going to get rich, doom and gloom, blah, blah, blah. No, I will leave that to everybody else. However, we need to discuss this this morning. What does this really mean? We've got now a potential uh, conversation about uh, the beginning of World War Three. Is that likely to happen? Uh, uh, is why is Joe Biden all of a sudden making this announcement? Uh, we've got polls running. I've got comments, uh, places you can vote on this. Uh, you can also uh, call in as well. We're going to have a live phone in about this subject to follow up this video. So if you have a, a strong opinion on Trump or Biden and you want to just put your put your comments in video, at the, uh, after I'm making this, I'm making it live, I'm going to open up the phone lines and you can call in and this video will link to the, uh, the, the the live debate conversation which will follow this video. So if you want to hear what the viewers say and what you're saying, what you think right now, if you're watching me live, you can call in and have your say. World War Three. Let's first of all look at the market and before we cover the news and see how it's moved today. I just sometimes need to reach a bit forward because that's how the face works. Okay, as you can see, the markets have not reacted negatively today. So there's volatility coming up this week due to global macro conditions and NVIDIA, and that's what's shaping the market right now, being the biggest company and uh, extremely volatile. <coughs> that's what's moving the market this week. The macro conditions, the World War Three conversation is not moving the markets right now. I do expect much, much more volatility as we go up to Wednesday evening because of NVIDIA, not World War Three. So straight off the bat, spoiler alert, don't see that as a major issue right now. Is it, is it old news, new news, whatever? So that's a look at the market. Let's look at the actual news itself. And then I'm also going to share with you a poll. We're running live during the show. If you're watching later, you'll be able to vote on this. Now, this is what we call the Lucas Archie. It's uh, like the Fibonacci, but better. It's our own uh, trading indicator or news indicator, which is a lot more powerful. It ranks on Google and uh, it's in our internal pages uh, inside, inside, inside our YouTube. In other words, it's not manipulated by video, trying to sell, pump and dump stuff. It's not uh, It's not in stock twits and Reddit and places like that where people just talk rubbish and, you know, ignoramuses will say all kinds of stupid stuff just to make themselves look good and whatever. There's no benefit to anyone doing that. All right. So this is real. Uh, we had 91 votes on this already. 91. If you'd like to go and vote on this, let's see how this changes throughout this video. So we'll look at it at the end. There is the... Um, there is the link in the chat. Go and vote on this. The question I'm asking you, uh, Biden authorizes Ukraine to strike Russia with US supplied long range missiles. President Joe Biden has authorized Ukraine to use US provided long range weapons inside Russia for limited strikes, according to two US officials. The question I'm asking you is, is, will this lead to World War Three? And there is the link today to join us with, with this show, okay? Now, we've had 91 votes. At the end of this video, I will come back and see how it's changed. And remember, this is only internal. This is not, uh, you know, I'm not uh, splashing this everywhere. This is just investors who are, you know, making informed decisions. 33% of you, yes, sadly, I do see it happening now. Quite concerning. 33% of you do think that this will lead to World War III. However, 14% are undecided. 53% is the majority. No, I don't see that happening. And I absolutely agree. I can't vote, but if I could vote, that's what I would vote for. I don't think it's going to happen. And I'm going to explain why as we look at the news. So please tap the like button. 
Uh, and uh, please do um, click subscribe and ring the bell. That will really, really help. OK, let's go over now to the news and my thoughts I'll share with you. That's today's title of the, of the video. Ukraine war latest. Kremlin offers first response after Biden allows Ukraine to US missiles inside Russia. Joe Biden has allowed Ukraine to strike inside Russia with long-range U.S. missiles, prompting dire warnings from Moscow. Meanwhile, 11 people have been killed after major attacks in Ukrainian city of Sumy. Let's remind ourselves, <coughs> at the moment, uh, and until now, uh, Ukraine did not possess long-range missiles to fire back, which is exactly what Russia was doing. Russia are firing from inside Russia to Ukraine and they're killing people, destroying property and so on and so forth. They're doing it, but like, you know, the silly little silly little person that Putin is, um, I don't want anyone to do the same to me. Well, uh, America has said, well, we've had enough of this. We're going to allow Ukraine to fight back on equal terms and they can fire back on you. Now, you might say, uh, we don't want to start fighting inside Russia. The war is going on in Ukraine. But let's remind ourselves, Russia decided to invade Ukraine, a sovereign country. Imagine uh, Russia decided to invade uh, United States. Would the United States be able to defend itself? Should it defend itself? Of course. Okay, it's one thing defending itself and fighting the people inside your country, but is it okay to fire back into their country? Well, of course, it escalates things, but if your enemy is firing missiles from their country into yours, doesn't it make sense to be able to fire back at least at those missile sites and those missile factories and so on and so forth? It seems fair to me. Uh, so if you're, you know, if you're going to start being a bully and invade a country, don't be surprised if the country then want to fire back at you. Yes, it escalates. Of course it does. But haven't the country got the right to do that? I would suggest they have. But of course, people then say this, uh, this raises the stakes and then we end up with World War Three. Uh, so let me uh, let me show you the first post here. Biden lifts ban on Ukraine using U.S. missiles to strike inside Russia. Joe Biden has allowed Ukraine to strike inside Russia with a long range missiles. We've already talked about that. Uh, we've also talked about the next paragraph. Ukraine, Ukraine plans to conduct its first long range attacks in the coming days. The source is said without revealing details due to operational security concerns. The, uh, the move by the US comes after months of requests from Vladimir Zelensky to allow Ukraine's military to use US weapons to hit Russian military targets far from its border. Now, that's a very important point. Now, what I want to do is go back to our poll. And what I want you to do is not only vote here, but do the comments uh, believe, uh, below, and I will read them out uh, on the show. Now, why is Biden doing this now? Biden thought he or Harris would win the election, didn't they? They didn't. That didn't happen. Did they think, uh, are they thinking now, we want to get this done before Trump gets in? What is the reason? Uh, so whether you are a, a Democrat or Republican, pro-Trump, pro-Biden, pro-Harris, whatever you are, uh, don't just vote, leave some comments. We have three comments at the moment. So I'm going to go and look at these comments in a moment and see what you say. Uh, do you think that um, Biden is trying to do this you know, for some reason, you know, what alternative reason? Uh, why did he wait so long? Um, this has been going on for a very long time. Was it strategic? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, you can also comment below this video when you see it come out and I'll, and I'll make follow-up videos to your responses. The change follows Russia's deployment of North Korean ground troops to supplement its own forces, a development that has caused alarm in Washington and Kiev, uh, or as they say in America, Kiev. The first deep strikes are likely to be carried out using ATACMS rockets, which have a long range of up to 190 miles, according to the sources. So let's remember, these aren't super long range missiles. These are intercontinental missiles. These aren't, these aren't missiles that we can fire from Ukraine all over Russia and obliterate Russia. That's not what these are. Okay, 190 miles isn't going to uh, isn't going to do that much damage. So it's a bit of a story, um, but it's not going to. Um, uh, I don't think escalate too much. All right. 
Anyway, uh, let's go back to this main point and see about the reaction from uh, the Kremlin. And then I want to go and tell you why I think that this is not going to uh, start World War Three. The Kremlin has said um, that uh, U.S. adding fuel to fire with long-range missile decision. The Kremlin uh, has accused the outgoing Biden administration of adding fuel to the fire and seeking to escalate the conflict in Ukraine. Responding to reports that Joe Biden has allowed Ukraine to use U.S.-made weapons to strike far into Russia... Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said such a move would usher a new round of tension and deepen the US's involvement in the war. It is obvious. Now, before before we go on to this paragraph, it's worth mentioning that uh, the, UK, uh, the UK and US are not at war with China, but China is sending uh, support to uh, Russia, but we're not at war with them. So the simple fact that United States is providing missiles to Ukraine doesn't mean you, United States is declaring war on Russia. Russia need to grow up. Vladimir Putin is like a little child. He really annoys me. His silly little face. I mean, his silly little face and the way he walks around with his arms stuck by his... his flipping idiot. I can't stand the bloke. Um, it's just ridiculous. Uh at the end, at the, at, the, at the end of the day, um, every country has its right to defend itself. Every country has a right to have allies. Just because uh, other countries are providing missiles to support Ukraine, uh, that doesn't mean those countries are at war. That's what he's trying to suggest. You know, it's escalating it. US are getting involved. Well, hang on, China are involved with you, but we're not at war with China. It goes both ways, mate. So uh, let's get that, let's get that completely understood. And I'm going to come on to why I don't think World War III is going to start in a moment. Uh, it is obvious that the outgoing administration in Washington intend to take steps, and they have been talking about this to continue adding fuel to the fire and provoking further escalation of tensions around this conflict, uh, Peskov said. All right. According to the Russian TASS news agency, which carries more of Peskov's comments, he said Moscow sees the possibility of Western specialized specialist troops launching a long range strikes against it as the major as the main danger. The fact that there is strikes are not uh, the fact that these strikes are not carried out by Ukraine. These strikes are carried out by those countries that give permission because targeting other uh, maintenance is not done by Ukraine's, uh, Ukra Ukrainian servicemen. It is done by military specialists from these very Western countries, he is reported to have said. Now, we need to be absolutely clear here. There is no mention whatsoever. So again, this is Russia trying to, to, to escalate what isn't actually happening. Um, as you can see, the markets aren't spooked by this either. Um, there's no uh, mention of the missiles being fired by U.S. personnel. That's why the U.S. personnel have been training Ukraine forces for the last couple of years uh, in their weapons and technology and so on and so forth. Just the same, Russia have been receiving aid and support from other countries as well, mainly uh, Korea, of course, and China. And think is it probably and, and is, is it some India as well? But anyway, at the end of the day, Vladimir Putin needs to pull his big boy pants up. If he doesn't, if he probably doesn't even own, own any. But anyway, if he does, he needs to pull them up and realize what he is doing. Uh, now the rest of the world are going. Well, we're going to you know fight you know fight fire with fire and so on and so forth. But there's no evidence to support that the U.S. is suddenly launching these missiles themselves. That's not what's happening. And now on to my final thought before I reveal your poll and your comments. So this is the poll we're running over here. This is our community. Uh, we started with 91 votes. We'll see how it goes. Please vote on this and leave your thoughts about Biden, Trump, what you think it all means. There is the link. I'm going to cover all of these uh, comments and I'm going to cover the, the poll in a moment. But at the moment, you're saying no, it won't lead to World War Three. Let me give my final thoughts on it, and then I shall come back to uh, this poll and see how it's changed. Let me give my thoughts on it. I've had the great fortune to be able to travel all over the world, literally everywhere, 195 countries, over 37 years of being the world piano man. And it's given me the great opportunity to learn about uh, the way people see other countries. I find it fascinating. One of the things I uh, I discovered when I first came to America, 
The very first place I came to America was a small town in Kansas. Uh, actually, it was a, a water, um, I think it was called uh, Water Rapids or something like that. Anyway, and I went to a small little town, small little village, went to a school and I was talking to children and teachers about music and the way the world s- saw America. And when I got there, I saw uh, a wonderful community, uh, really decent people, you know, farmers working the fields, you know, the, the lady at home making a cherry pie, you know, respectable children. I was amazed by the fact that everybody was calling me sir. It was incredible. I never experienced that before. All these young children calling me sir, very respectful, law-abiding, hardworking, dreaming of a future, wonderful community in the heart of America. And I also have, 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 have spent time in, in equally the same kind of villages and towns in Iraq, in Syria. Yes, I've been in these places. Uh, uh, and uh, Libya, another one, uh, all over Africa. Uh, and uh, I've met equally uh, passionate, excited, uh, country, you know, loving their country people, hardworking. And uh, I only wished that... Um, When I'd uh, met uh, certain countries, uh, certain people were very angry with America dropping bombs on their cities or their countries or whatever. But of course, a country is not represented by its flag, its president, its army, its bombs. It's represented by the people. And of course, the people who are getting bombed by another country don't see those families in Kansas making the cherry pies, walking their kids to school, working in the farms. They don't see that. All they see is the bombs. They see the rhetoric, the noise, uh, the flag, the the army on the news. They don't see the people. And I only wished, and I said at the time, that I could wish I could pick up a family from Iraq or Iran or uh, any of these countries that I've had the uh, the, the great privilege to... uh, to, uh, performing, very often representing the UK, uh, the British Army in entertaining the troops. I only wish I had the opportunity to pick up those communities, magically put them down in this village where they could meet these people in America and go, these people aren't our enemy. These are people just like us. And at the end of the day, most people are pretty much just like you. Uh, there's no such thing as the greatest country in the world. It's the greatest people make the greatest country in the world, which hopefully makes the greatest planet in, in the universe. That would be nice. But at the end of the day, there are great people everywhere. Sadly, there are horrible people everywhere as well, from all countries. My thought is this, we will not have a World War Three, And the reason why I'd, I'll give it before I go back to the poll is we are in a very different world now than we were back in World War One, World War Two, and going back to other empires like the British Empire, the way it conquered the or one third of the world. The same with the Roman Empire, looking back at uh, other empires before that as well. Um, we are not that world anymore. We are a global community. We, re- we, we, we rely on each other. Going back to the last world war, World War II, when Adolf Hitler set off his uh, mission, uh, he had he had all kinds of you know crazy ideas, but there was some kind of uh, relative sense to it in a way. I don't mean to endorse what he did, of course, but what I meant in his head, there was a sense to it because he could Uh, create new markets. He could create new opportunities because the world was separate. Even though we were together, we didn't have the, uh, the connections that we do today. So he was able to divide the world and set up his, his idea was set up his own infrastructure in different parts of the world. However, that doesn't exist anymore. We are all customers of each other. We supply each other. We rely on each other. Even though World War Three could potentially always break out if someone presses the button and ev- everyone else gets excited and starts pressing buttons, of course, that can happen as long as those missiles and those buttons exist. If someone presses them, things can get out of control. However, Vladimir Putin, just like any other country, are all about power, money, and, 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 and control. And you're not controlling or gaining or earning or benefiting anything by blowing up your blowing up your uh, customers, your neighbour, your uh, business partner. There's, there's, it serves no purpose. So because it serves no purpose, I don't believe it's going to happen. However, World War Three could come in a completely different shape and size. We might declare World War Three, but actually it's not really World War Three. What I mean by that is World War Two wasn't World War Two either. 
having traveled all around the world and spoken to people and asked the very question, what was your experience in World War II? Of course, not many of those people are around anymore, but I would always learn the same thing. There were many people, many families and, uh, and, uh, and so on, who never had any experience of World War II. World War II implies the whole world were fighting with everybody and everybody was involved. In fact, most of the world wasn't involved at all. There were places all over the world that were completely untouched, and the most they knew about it was reading it in a newspaper. World War Three could be something like a, uh, a, a global cyber attack. It could be a financial crash on the stock market. It could be, it could be fought over all kinds of different ways. It doesn't mean we're all going to bomb the hell out of each other, destroy each other, because that makes no sense. Now, of course, human beings do lots of things that don't make sense. It goes on and on and on. We never seem to learn. But I don't think there's going to be World War Three. And from my discussions and my experience of traveling around the world, neither does anybody else when it comes down to the little villages and the man on the farm doing his job. Because most people just want to go about their daily lives. The families in Kansas that I met just want to farm the, farm the wheat. The kids just want to go to school and learn how to play the piano. And the wife at home is looking forward to seeing her husband and family at the end of the day. And that is the same for every other country too. Trust me, everybody else has the same pain, the same worries, the same concerns. We all get old, we all die. Everything's exactly the same for everybody else. The few leaders at the top who, have, uh, who are power hungry don't reflect the rest of us, whether you love Trump, Biden, Harris, anywhere in between. They don't really represent you. You represent you. People represent themselves. They're just the figurehead that you get behind and cheer and support and wave a flag to. That's fine. It makes you feel part of a tribe. Nothing wrong with that. But at the end of the day, take responsibility for yourself. If you're not happy with your life, change it. If you're not happy who you are, change it. You are responsible for yourself. And I think that's what's going to ultimately uh, mean that we don't have a total global crisis. I'm more concerned with environmental disasters and meteorites smashing into the planet and taking the whole thing out or uh, a, a, a global pandemic worse than, than COVID. Uh, COVID's, COVID killed more people than ever likely to happen in World War Three, in my opinion, because I don't believe we'd bomb the hell out of each other. It wouldn't make any sense. Anyway, there's my thought. The markets aren't really moving because of this. They don't think so either. I think we're more likely to get volatility due to uh, rate fears and more likely to get uh, a, a drop because of NVIDIA underperforming or issues around that, so on and so forth. What do you think? Leave me your thoughts and comments below. Also go and uh, share with me your thoughts why Biden is doing this now. Why Trump? What's Trump going to do about it when he gets in and so on and so forth. But right now, let's go back to the poll to finish up this video. At the beginning of the video, I invited everyone to vote in this and see how you'd react. Let's see if the poll has changed. You've got like 10 seconds left to vote. This is our internal vote on our... Uh, internal pages in our community. I know the bell has just gone. I'll be back with it in a moment. I just want to finish this. So we're at 53% right now uh, saying that um, you believe, no, I don't see it happening. 53%. Let's see uh, if this has changed. So I'm going to write down, because I'll, I'll forget otherwise, 33, 53, and 14 with 91 votes. Let's see how it's changed through my video, uh, maybe my opinions have, uh, you know, made you think a different way. I don't know. Here we go. Let's refresh it. What does it say? It now says 101 votes, 101 votes. So 10 of you have voted during this uh, during this uh, event here. You can see there's the 101. And uh, it's, uh, yes, I sadly see it happening now has dropped to 30%. So my argument perhaps is a uh, as uh, you, you, you sort of um, agree with me. No, you don't see it happening. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yes is likely. Yes is less likely. Sorry. 55% uh, has gone up. Uh, no, I don't see it happening has gone from 53 to 55%. So more of you say, no, I don't see it happening either. And um, uh, undecided was 14%. That's moved up to 15%. So one person... Uh, it looks like it doesn't think uh, they don't know what's going to happen. But several of you most definitely have decided to go with, no, I don't see it happening. 
it looks like uh, you agreed with my argument, which is nice. Uh, I'm glad that we all feel that way. Anyway, as the bell goes, the market turns slightly red. Not a major concern. I do see volatility for other things, not World War 3. Thank you very much for uh, watching me make this video. This video will be out available later and you'll be able to comment to it further and continue to vote and all the rest of it. Click on the links above my head. Uh, more links down below in the description. We've got some big events coming up. Uh, we've also got some major, major discounts today on our um, on our Black Friday deal with, with Seeking Alpha. I've given you the link in the chat. The, the link will be available below as well. Uh, Seeking Alpha, Alpha Spread, both doing great discounts. We've got Seeking Alpha here. We've also got Welcome to the Lucas A's. We've got our very own page on, on Alpha Spread because I'm uh, friends with the, uh, the CEO. Go and check out our deals. The links are below in the description. We've also got, of course, uh, coming up uh, on Wednesday, the NVIDIA earnings and tomorrow live on our show, Meet the CEO. We have got a Meet the CEO series uh, and uh, tomorrow I'm interviewing Mobix, bringing us a world exclusive breaking news story. Expect the stock to be violently um, volatile tomorrow. Join us for that. Click above my head for all the links down below in the description. Over here, I shall put uh, the uh, some of the links, and I'm not sure which yet, and down here, some more videos you might find useful. Until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other.